I will be introducing a motion in Alberta's legislature later today to clearly demonstrate our opposition to the Trudeau government's April Fool's Day prank of hiking the carbon tax on April the 1st, right when Canadians are already struggling with rising costs on everything from food and grocery stores to home heating to filling up our cars. These aren't optional expenses or luxuries that folks can do without. These are basic costs that people have when they uh, live, work and raise their family in this cold northern country. Trudeau's carbon tax hike is another body blow to Albertans, taking money right out of our pockets and sending it to Ottawa when we can least afford it. And that's why Alberta's legislature will be debating, and I hope passing unanimously, the following motion. Quotes, be it resolved that the Legislative Assembly call on the Government of Canada to stop its planned April 1st, 2022 increase of the carbon tax to $50 per tonne and further plan to quadruple the carbon tax to $170 a tonne, given that Canadian families are struggling with the highest inflation in 30 years. The federal government's tax hikes and huge deficits have driven up inflation. For years, the problem's been getting worse. We've already seen prices explode on grocery shelves caused by rampant inflation on food and other basic necessities. Grocery stores have been facing higher and higher costs on the things they need to get food on their shelves. In fact, food costs have increased by 18% since the carbon tax was introduced here in Alberta in 2015. And the April 1st carbon tax increase will make that bad situation even worse for working families. Even the Bank of Canada in Ottawa says that uh, the carbon tax hike planned on the 1st of April will increase inflation by nearly half a percentage point, and that's on top of a 30-year high for inflation. It just doesn't make sense. Right now, as I say, inflation is at the highest point in three decades, and it's only going to hurt families and make life even more expensive to raise it further. Um, on our part, Alberta's government is taking action right now to li make life more affordable. We're suspending the provincial gas tax on April 1st that will save Albertans 13 cents a litre when they fill up. Unfortunately, the Trudeau carbon tax hike means that Albertans will be paying 3 cents a litre more, so Albertans can expect to save about 10 cents a litre, that is our 13 cent cut, his three cent increase. But this is only the beginning of the Trudeau NDP, the Trudeau Liberal NDP government's plan for higher fuel, food and fuel costs. Their carbon tax is expected to go up every single year for the next nine years until it reaches $170 a tonne. When it reaches $50 a tonne on April 1st, the carbon tax will be about 11 cents per liter of gasoline at the pump. But by 2030, it will be a staggering 39 uh, uh, cents a litre. And here's what that means in real dollars and cents. If you drive a Honda Civic, it'll cost you about 70 bucks to fill up your empty gas tank on April 1. And that's assuming fuel prices stay roughly the same between now and then, and factoring in our provincial gas tax cut, plus the federal carbon tax increase. So on April 1st of 2030, the end of this decade, when the Liberal NDP tax for carbon hits $170 a tonne, it'll cost $83 to fill up that same Honda Civic. For a middle-class family earning $70,000 a year, the carbon tax will add $600 of direct and indirect annual costs when it reaches $50 a tonne in just a few days. But that same middle-class family will pay more than $2,000 in carbon tax costs by 2030. These are staggering numbers that many families just can't afford. On top of the action we're taking to save Albert Albertans money at the pumps, Alberta's government is also providing $150 in rebates to your electricity bills. We know that families are facing significant pressure because of increases in their electricity bills, so we're making sure that their bills uh, get a little more manageable by putting money where it matters, back in the hands of Albertans. And finally, we are capping the price of uh, gas for home heating at $6.50 a gigajoule to pr inflation protect consumers if it goes, the price goes much higher than where it is now. But I want to be clear on something. While Alberta's government is focused on lowering costs 
the carbon tax supporters, including the Liberal NDP alliance, actually want these basic necessities to get more expensive. That is their goal. That's their purpose. That's their design. The entire purpose of carbon taxes is to raise the cost of heating your, your home, is to raise the cost of driving your car, and to raise the cost of pretty much everything we need to survive. But Albertans have sent a message. Enough is enough. Gas is at record highs across most of Canada, with it sitting at more than two bucks a litre through much of the country. And the Liberal NDP government in Ottawa wants it to become even more expensive. But Alberta's government is taking action to provide relief for families. It's time the federal government does the same. Follow our example, Mr. Trudeau, and stop picking the pockets of Albertans with even higher taxes on the things that they need just to get by.